Good. Hello, hello, hello. Karen Crane here and Stephanie. Um, we are answering questions on Good morning. feedback. Hello, lovely. Right. Okay. This is an interesting one, isn't it? It is, and this is a this is a topic that grabs everybody's attention. Everybody's so excited with the first kid of the fourteen day free trial, and I totally understand why. To read the auras. Yeah. Yeah. Now, just got a bit of a, a, a um, but wait a moment there, a butter or however goes in there. Mm -hmm. We can get really really excited about the aura, and it's beautiful to see, and it's a great indication. But don't get hung up on it, guys. It is a part of an indication. It's beautiful. It's a fantastic tool, and it's wonderful. Biofeedback is so much more than just more reading machine. It's just a little snapshot. Oh, it's it? exciting! Yeah, it's a snapshot in time oh. to give yourself a look at where you could be. But I think you know, um, as you quite rightly say, since we've been using the um, genius, which is well over a year now. Um, well, well over a year. And we, um, I must admit, I very seldom do an aura photo anymore. Yeah. Because I just, I just want to find out more about other things. So I've sort of like left it behind a little. But saying that, I did one this morning. And okay. I'm, going to get, I'm going to get Steph to go over the colours with you so that you can see a little bit about potentiality, but also not not getting too worried about it so yeah oh that's beautiful now guys what we're looking at here is an ipad so apple uh, technology displays the aura reading very differently from an android or samsung yeah okay so i use a, I use an, uh, a samsung and when i'm looking at my aura picture so if you've got a samsung your aura picture will look like it's circulated around the body so it surrounds the body in a circular motion as opposed to the iPads, Apples, which are very uh, linear, yeah. so horizontal or, or vertical, yeah? But beautiful colours there, Karen, absolutely beautiful. Mm. And I'm also going to say this as well, guys, that your aura will change. It's a, it's a ever, ever, never ceasing movement of energy, constantly moving, constantly vibing, constantly interacting. From one moment to the next, you're having different experiences in life, whether it be metaphysical, psychological, physical, spiritual, perceived, anything that creates the energy shield to change and colors to change yeah so the aura is never going to stay the same no. it's always going to be moving so i use this as an indication so when people come in to do the first readings when the very first very first get started on the biofeedback you'd log in as you normally do you've got your name and address and uh, sorry about name and um, date of birth you do your voice harmonics remember also just want to think of it not related to the aura but when you record your voice please do the, the voice harmonics twice two times so a total of 30 seconds okay because it just resonates deeper and deeper you go through your voice analyzing then you do photograph you bring your photograph up and you come to the screen where you can choose your aura then you do an aura picture now you take a snapshot of this or a, a, a screenshot of this and you can compare the before and after shot it gives you indications and it just shows you that basically i see the aura as teaching us that we are effective in our treatment of self okay so what we're looking at here, the greens around Karen, it's shown, I'm, I'm cheating guys, I'm looking straight off the chart because I have to get my, my, get my focus going. So the greens relate to heart and lungs, okay? It's very, very comfortable, healthy color. Green is a very comforting color, very loving, very nurturing color, okay? So that's how I, 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 I relate to green as calming, relaxing, nurturing nature, okay? Self unconditional self love and compassion. It's also related to trust, trusting and surrendering. Karen has got total trust in the biofeedback. Karen has got total trust in her ability of stepping forward in life and empowered by her own knowledge of looking after herself and those around her. And you can see this reflecting in Karen. I'm not being over the top there, am I, Karen? It's, you, you're, <laughs> well, you're, well, I'll take everything. <laughs> Oh. So you can see this beautiful green healing. It's 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 I class green also as, as the colour of a healer because it's all about this nurturing, compassion, nature, nourishment, nur nurturing. It's beautiful. And at the base of Karen, there we can see the pinks coming through. Pink, pink and um, turquoise, a very high spiritual colour. So you can see some turquoise coming in off Karen, both on her left and right side there around the elbow area. You can see some pinks coming in down below as well. Okay. A little bit murky, 
just shows there's a little bit of energy there that's attached to Karen somehow or other. Um, not of Karen yet, it's still in her auric field. So that murkiness shows there's been something, something not the best intentions for Karen's best health or experience in life. So great. Let's just zap it before it becomes part of her. Absolutely. So remember, guys, with our aura, not so much aura picture here, but just talking about the aura in general. Our aura is an expansion of self. Our physical body is only a portion of who we are. The aura is an expansion of our self. And the aura starts, our time span starts outside and steps in towards us. By the time it becomes physically here that we register and experience, it has actually been in our aura field for a period of time. Mm. I can't remember the time channels. I can't remember the time uh, levels or layers. I can't remember because it's. I'm trying to get away from time, guys. I'm trying to get away from this concept of time. But just remember that it started outside us and it steps through its way through us before it becomes of us. So when you look at Karen's aura there, I can see a little bit of murkiness going on there. Now, I also know with Karen's recent history, the last 48 hours, she's been exposed to um, unknown entities and ex um, environmental challenges because she's been out of her, her safe zone that she keeps healthy for herself and her family. Karen's ventured out and done a bit of traveling around the countryside. So she could easily have picked up something somewhere. Okay, so... I'm just going to try an experiment here, Steph, just to okay. show you. Um, let's go into spiritual protection. Beautiful. So I'm going to auric protection. How interesting is that? So I'm just going to go into the quick zap tray and clear. And then I'm going to just do one treatment. So I'm just going to go and put auric protection in and do a one minute. Oops, yeah. one minute treatment, send that. And while we're talking, because I want to show you how it can change so quickly that it it's a bit uh, bonkers in a way to assess a photo or a picture of an aura as being who you are. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's, it's a concept I'm still learning because we're moving into this amazing dimension that we are particles changing and ever interchanging. We're not a solid body anymore. Yeah. And um, the concept of moving from this body of mine to this being of me is beautiful. And the aura shows us how interchangeable and fluid we are. So we've only got a few more seconds of this, so we can <laughs> patiently wait. Patiently, the pet's anticipation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and my dear dog heard that, of course. Ah, okay. So let's go back to the aura, and then we begin analysis again. And then you can see the colours there now. Yep. And then her fresh I time. wonder, wonder what it's going to be like. This wasn't planned, by the way. No, no, everybody is. Ah, uh, it's quite fun. <laughs> See how dark that's gone. Wow. So, what does that mean to you, Karen? That just means to me everything's in in um, transience and changing, shifting. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here because I don't have an, an iPad, but I believe the way that you can read your aura time-wise on the iPad is right, as we're looking at the iPad, from right to left, from past to present. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Right, excellent. So that's also something to remember on the Apple iPad. From right to left is from past to present. So what's happening in the past regarding healing or experiences to what's through now, yeah? yeah. yeah wow, amazing how dark that is, isn't it? Yeah, and it is quite circular from from my perspective, whether it's my yeah. computer screen or not. I can so, see when I look at that aura. Can you bring it back up again, Karen? Yeah. So when I sit here and I look at that aura and just let my eyes go and it's focus ever so slightly, I can literally see the movement going on. Yeah, absolutely. I can yeah, see you the can. waves going through. Yeah, it's just there. To me. There. Yeah. yeah. Then, Isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. And that's the thing is, is like some people, when you show them that, they go, oh, it's horrible. But it's not. It's just transformation. It's change. It's it's just everything, you know. It's just beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
So what we'll do now is we'll just go through some colours, the basic meanings of the colours of the aura. So um, bring us out of that picture, Karen, so people aren't paying attention to the picture so much. That's lovely. Yeah. So guys, just give you a breakdown of the colours of the auras, all right? So we'll get a PDF file done up of the aura colours as well for those of you who are doing, um, who have, who have bought the system. You'll have your PDF files telling you about the colours of the aura as well. Now, first of all, kind of red. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've been I've been battling with interference going on in my my premises the last couple of days, and I'm winning. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but here we go. So red so it is, it relates to circulation. So this is the the densest color. It creates the most friction. Friction attracts or repels money worries or obsessions. Okay. So it's not surprising. Red also reflects anger, or it can be can be um, the the the, the message of anger or unforgiveness, anxiety or nervousness. Material world, world lessons needing to stay grounded or centered. When well, you got dark, muddled red, it's all about unexpressed anger, stuff that's been held inside. Okay, and it's all the red, uh, the chakra, the root chakra is the red color red too. So we've got the red the represents a few things. So I use red a lot personally in my healing practice. Which is uncommon for a healer. Not many healers use red. They find it repelling. But for me, red helps to release energy that people have had blocked inside them. And I, I've always used red in my practice. I always wear red in my practice for that reason. So work with colours to see how they resonate with you personally. There's no no real hard and fast rules. Okay. Um, now orange, beautiful, beautiful orange. Reproductive organs and emotions. Okay. The colour of vitality, vigour, good health and excitement. Energy and stigma, create, creativeness, productivity, adventurous, courageous, being courageous, outgoing, social nature. So it's a fun, vibrant, up, upbeat colour. Yeah. However, when it's muddled, when it's murky and a bit, bit yucky, it could be almost the opposite of the freedom that you feel with orange. It actually becomes an addictive personality. So when you've got dark, muddy um, orange appearing in your aura, you could be looking at treating things for addictions or looking into sapiogo tones to help just to resonate those addictions and blast them away. Um, there's lots of things that work, the, the biofeedback will actually give you lots of opportunities to, and suggestions to treat the addiction sides of there as well. Anxiety and stress is also reflected with negative with the dark muddled uh, red, but I think about it in the orange. But as far as the chakras are relating to the colors, your sacral chakra is, on, is the orange color. Okay. Then we've got yellow, right? Spleen, the color of awakening, intuition, inspiration, intelligence, and action, shared creativity, playfulness, optimism, and very easygoing, okay? I like yellow. I, I resonate with yellow and people's aura as seeing them as being quite an open to spirituality, open to um, the greater things, the great awakening, if you want to use that terminology, which is quite common at the moment. People who are like connected to spiritual self or at least connecting, to a spiritual self, awake and aware and open to the greater prospect, prospects of what's out there, okay? If the yellow has a mustard green tinge to it, it is often registered or related to digestion issues. Spleen, digestion, okay? And specifically to the need to clean the liver and the gallbladder. Aligning one's will with spirit rather than with an ego. Okay, so this is where a big change is going on in the world at the moment as well. So I see... When I'm looking at people's aura and I see the, the yellow is looking a bit ew, not quite so bright and shiny, like a big ball of orange light or yellow light. I see their brain is trying to overpower where the heart's coming from. Or the brain, brain is, is overpowering the heart or the brain is closing down the heart. So moving down the ego, the head, and allow the heart to come through. Okay, this is the solar chakra, as I've already said. Then we've got the green relates to heart and lungs. It's very comfortable, healthy colour. We talked about green before in the Karen's aura. It's kind of nature, unconditional self-love and compassion. It's all about trusting and surrendering. So not trusting and surrendering to follow man per se, but trust and surrender to your inner self, to your to your guidance. Okay. Trust and surrender in the greater good. Okay, the greater, greater, greater um spirit, if you want to whatever terminology you want to use there. For me, it's my higher self. Okay. Emerald green often is related to the healing of the heart during the session. Okay. So um, surprisingly, green is the heart chakra. All right, excellent. Blue relates to throat, thyroid, and is often related to some theme around communication. 
So I see a blue and quite a lot of people at the moment who are going through some major changes in their personal lifetime, like their own personal life journey. Because mm. they're unsure of how to speak their words now or how to be heard or, in fact, am I being heard? So I see blue coming through quite a bit at the moment. Is there a new internal communication or of information? Does the person who you're working with want to communicate something left unspoken in the session? Is there a warning or wanting to say something to someone in their life? Honesty with self and with others, and being authentic in your expression. So this is the throat chakra, okay? Violet relates to the crown, perennial gland and nervous system. When purple, violet or indigo moves into the field, this is a good sign. It means that healing higher energy is moving into the field. Nice. Okay? So I love seeing people in people's field because it gives me an opportunity to reassure them that they are not alone. By yeah. any means whatsoever, they've got amazing energy coming down from the higher self, higher self, higher plane, from their God, from their Buddha, from their Muhammad, from their Allah, whatever they call their higher self or the higher higher uh, being, coming down and surrounding them with love and light and energy that left in healing. Okay, what else we got there? It becomes more become more present in the now moment. Unity, a unit, a unit, uh, bringing in the consciousness, meaning the unifying the consciousness. So this is all about the crown chakra, gold in her aura, the color of enlightenment and divine protection. Beautiful to see in someone's aura, it's just amazing. When seen within the aura, it says the person is being guided by their highest good. Okay, again, call it what you will, whatever you feel comfortable with. It is a title, the highest good, higher being, higher self. I call them my buddies upstairs. Yeah, you call them what you want to call them, okay. As divine guidance of the highest good. Protection, wisdom, inner knowledge, spiritual mind, intuitive thinker. Then we have our black. Black draws or pulls energy into it and in doing so transforms it. It captures light and consumes it. Usually indicates long-term unforgiveness towards others or to self. Connected in a specific area of the body which can lead to health problems. Okay, So it's all-consuming and it's just this pit of it. Black, black wormhole sucking energy out of you. Black, grey or brown, the aura can represent blocked or stagnant energy. So obviously we want to help to release that. Okay, work our way through there. White, white reflects other energy. Pure state of light. Often represents a new or not yet designated energy in the aura. The spiritual, etheric or non-physical quantities or qualities, transcendent higher dimensions, purity and truth. So we've got the yin and yang here, the white and black, okay? Nice. So that gives you an outline of the colours there. So go back and write those down if you want to. Uh, but don't get too hung up on the colours, guys. Just use them as an indication. And then from that indication, your biofeedback is going to pick up what you need treatment on and then delve further into where the treatments come through from there. Yeah, it's just fun. It's just fun. That's it's the thing. Fun. It's a fun yeah. thing. And keep it yeah. fun because it keeps your vibe high as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Hmm. Wonderful. So that's just an overview of what the aura is about, the color wise and so forth, and how to how to read, um, how to uh, get an aura done, but put yourself all in front of your feet self. Hmm. Just the most important thing I want to say here to you guys, of the two main important things I want to say here is keep it fun, keep it light, keep it fun, keep the energy high on it, use it as an indication, okay? Yeah. Um, and it is, it's just fun, you know, it's all oh, what color one today, sort of stuff, okay? Yeah. And then realize also that it is part, just a part of the power of the biofeedback and what the information that can be brought to you and where you can journey with this because it's an aura is the beginning of diving deeper and deeper and deeper into the beautiful um what do you call them chapters mm -hmm. libraries that we have in the biofeedback is just the beginning of an incredible journey so relax and have fun with it that's a really good explanation thank you very much for that steph because i think you know we we can become, as we've said, you know, too fixated on just one thing. And that would be my um, encouragement, really, is to discover other parts, discover other parts of what's going on with you. Um, and it can be physical, spiritual, or, ex, you know, other parts of you. And the thing is, is that's what's the beauty of this, is you can dive as deep as you want it to. 
Love it, love it. Excellent. So I just turned the sound off there for a bit of noise going on outside. Yeah. Excellent, guys. Okay, so as per always, keep the questions coming. It's fantastic to be journeying this journey with you guys as you explore the biofeedback and learn this powerful tool for mm. you to use for yourself and your loved ones. It's just so exciting. So keep the feedback coming and keep the questions coming. If you've got any more questions regarding the aura and the colours, stick them down below in the comment section and one of us will get back to you. Um, or, you know, there's multiple ways to contact us and ask questions anyway. Okay, so that's it for now. Trying to keep our videos kind of short, keep them fun and funky. Until next time, God bless. Keep the journey going. Keep the fun up. Have fun, play, and enjoy, and live long and prosper. Take care. Bye for now. Lots of love. Bye.